Example four, using L'Hopital's rule three times, we want to find the limit as x approaches zero of tangent x minus x over x cubed. Okay, so let's take a look at the numerator. So we want to take the limit as x is approaching zero of the tangent of x minus x. Well, that's going to give us zero. And if we find the limit as x approaches zero of x cubed, then that gives us zero. So therefore, it gives us an indeterminate form of 0 divided by 0. So what we want to do now is let's start out with our function, which is the limit as x approaches 0 of the tangent of x minus x over x cubed. So the first thing we want to do is, since we know that it's indeterminate, we're going to apply the L'Hopital's rule. So the limit as x approaches 0, the, the derivative of the tangent of x is the secant squared x minus the derivative of x, which is minus 1, over the derivative of x cubed, which is 3x squared. Okay, so if we apply the limit as x approaches 0, well, the secant of 0 is 1. When you square it, it's 1 minus 1, which is 0. And 0 is an enumerator, and then 3 times 0 is 0. So we get another indeterminate form, which means now we still need to apply L'Hopital's rule again. So we want to take the limit as x approaches 0. So what is the derivative of secant squared x? Well, the derivative of secant squared x is 2 times the secant squared x times the tangent of x. And then we're going to divide that by the derivative of 3x squared, which is 6x. Okay, now if we look at this, okay, now when we apply uh, the limit as x approaches 0, well, that's going to give us 2 times the secant of 0 squared times the tangent of 0 divided by 6 times 0. Okay, so which means that we're still going to get a 0 over 0, okay, if we find that. Now, what we can do is rather than doing that, we can separate these as two limits because the secant of 0 is 1. So what we're going to do is the following. We're going to take the limit as x approaches 0 of 2 times the secant squared of x over 6 times the limit of the tangent of x as x is approaching 0 over x. Okay, so what does this do? Well, what this does is if we take the limit, it's going to be 2 times 1 squared over 6, which reduces to 1 third. So this now becomes 1 third times the limit as x approaches 0 of the tangent of x divided by x. So now, okay, this tangent of x is become 0, and this is also 0, so we have to apply L'Hopital's rule again. So now we're going to get 1 third times the limit as x approaches 0 of the secant squared of x over 1. So now we can simplify because now this becomes 1 third times 1 squared over 1, which ends up giving us 1 third as our limit. And so the other thing that we can possibly do is the following. Okay, we can evaluate the last limit either by using L'Hopital's rule a third time, which is what we did, or by writing tangent x as the sine of x divided by the cosine of x and making use of our knowledge of trigonometric limits. So what we could have done is we could have then done that part if we wanted to. Okay, now let's go ahead and graph this function just so that we can see what's happening. 
So when we graph our function, we have the tangent x minus x, and then divide that by x cubed. Okay, so let's see here. We see that our here is our zero. Okay, so as it is approaching zero from the left and zero from the right, you can see that it's approaching 0 0.333, which is one third.